Stand closer. Stand closer. I think we can all agree that James is a very lucky man. Uh, welcome everyone, and uh, thank you for being here to celebrate the marriage of James and Christine. This is a very intimate group of James and Christine's favorite people in the world. We're very glad you could be here to celebrate this very special day with them. Uh, I'm Jeremy, I'm a friend of James and Christine's. They've asked me to officiate the ceremony. Uh, it's my great pleasure and privilege. I also realize that this is the most special moment of your life so far, so no pressure at all for me. <laughs> uh, hopefully I'll be better at this than skeet shooting. <laughs> uh, so today we are sharing a special moment in the lives of two people who are celebrating their love for one another with all of us. Very nice. Uh, but how did they find themselves here today? Well, they first met at a barbecue back in 2009. When Christine walked in, James noticed her at Matt's house. There you go, Matt. <laughs> Christine noticed James uh, as soon as, sorry, when Christine walked in, James noticed her immediately. He said she had a presence about her. Christine noticed, Christine noticed James as well and noticed the presence of a, a number of young ladies buying his attention. <laughs> Uh, Christine, lover of a challenge, remarked to her friend, he is going to be my boyfriend. Uh, they were introduced over a crowd of people, but Christine felt little interest from James, who was playing it wide. On the contrary, <laughs> James was watching her from afar all night. Feeling slightly defeated, uh, Christine decided to leave, but not before yelling some very loud goodbyes to her friends. Uh, James noticed the girl he'd been watching all night was about to leave, sprung to action, shouting, I'll come with you. <laughs> That's my James impersonation. <laughs> and, uh, and so they left together, as it so happens. Uh, as they left, Christine asked James his last name. I assume so she could stalk him on social media. Uh, James's smooth reply: Why? Do you want to marry me? <laughs> Again, that's my James. Uh, and, here we, and here we are today. So clearly that was her intention. <laughs> Uh, so they left the barbecue and walked to the nearest bar to grab a drink together, which happened to be a very gay bar, I'm told. <laughs> uh, complete with bears. And Christine explained to me that bears are hairy guys wearing black leather, so that should help set the scene. Uh, it, it was here, surrounded by the bears, that they shared their first kiss and started their journey towards us together. Uh, they both realized very early that this relationship was the real deal. They moved in together. They traveled the world together, and in the ultimate test of any relationship, they started a business together. <clears throat> the way they work together and the success they've had thus far is only proof that they will make this marriage work. Uh, in preparing for today, I asked them each for three things that they loved most about each other. They both had more than three, proving they're not very good at following instructions, <laughs> but also proving that they have a lot to love. Christine said she loved James's sense of humor, his crazy dance moves <laughs> and his ambitions oh, no. to build an empire. But most of all, she loves that he forces her to be a better person. James said he loved Christine's gentle, vulnerable center that only he sees, her sense of humor, her morals and values, and her amazing eyes. James also said that Christine taught him to be less self-centered, more considerate, and a better partner and person. Amen. He said he owes everything to Chris, and without her, He'd still be waking up empty and lost, just like he was before they met. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good ones. He said dance moves. All right. Uh, James and Christine know that they are very fortunate to have such lo loving friends and family who have shaped them into the people they are today. They're also grateful for the, the values that have been instilled in them but growing up by their loving parents, Mary Rose, Bill, and Sally and Richard. And I know they're looking forward to passing those values on to generations to come. James and Christine, please join hands as we move into your vows. James and Christine wrote these vows, but I'm gonna help them along the way. So Christine, please join us. James. I knew I would love you forever the first time we went kayaking together. James, I knew I would love you forever the first time we went kayaking together. You are my partner, my lover, and my best friend. You are my partner, my lover, and my best friend. And I know whatever direction the current pulls us, I know whatever direction the current pulls us, you will always be by my side. 
my side. You will always be my friend. I promise to never take your love for granted. I promise to never take your love for granted. I promise to be patient and think before I speak. <laughs> 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 I promise to never stop working on myself and our relationship. I promise to never stop working on myself and our relationship. I promise to make sure we are always moving forward so our love can last forever. I promise to make sure we're always moving forward so our love can last forever. James, your turn. Chris, you are the most loving, loyal partner anyone could wish for. Fill my heart with love and my life with joy. Fill my heart with love and my life with joy. You are my best friend, my soulmate, my everything. You are my best friend, my soulmate, my everything. In front of our friends and family, I promise to love and care for you. In front of my friends and family, I promise to love and care for you. And I will try in every way to be worthy of your love. And I will try in every way to be worthy of your love. I will always be honest with you, kind, patient and forgiving. I will be honest with you, kind, patient and forgiving. I promise above all else to live in truth with you and to communicate fully and fearlessly. I promise all else to live in truth with you and to communicate fully communicate fully and, and fearlessly. fearlessly. So that was a long one, I'm sorry. That no, was too long. Uh, I give you my hand and my heart. I give you my hand. <laughs> I pledge my love, devotion, faith, and honor. I pledge, I pledge my love, <laughs> devotion, faith, and honor. You wrote it. As I join my life, as I join my life to yours. As I join my life to yours. James and Christine, the love you share will make burdens lighter because you divide them. It will make happy times more intense because you share them. The rings that you are about to exchange symbolize that love. Wear them as a sign that from this day forward, you are complete because you have each other and your commitment to this marriage has no end. Tom, please tell me you remember the rings. Oh. 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 Unconventional. Uh, Christine, would you repeat after me as you place the ring on James's finger? I give you this ring as a symbol of my eternal love. I give you this ring as a symbol of Everyone here today shares in your happiness, and we know this is the start of a long and happy life you will share together. It is now my very great pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. Hey. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Yeah.